Welcome to the Data Signs Portable Traffic Light Setup Video. Please read and understand the PTL Operations and Maintenance Manual before commencing setup. The Operations Manual for the PTL can be found under the shelf in the control box on the master unit. Here you will also find the Data Sign PTL Manufacturer Plant Risk Assessment document. For additional copies of these documents, please contact your nearest data science branch. The PTL user manual is also provided in the battery box on the master unit. Again, additional copies can be obtained from your nearest data science branch. In Australia, New Zealand, please visit our website at datascience.com.au to find locations for your nearest service agent or branch. In this scenario, the data science portable traffic lights will be set up to illustrate shuttle control operation. Each state or region will have their own guidelines and training or accreditation requirements for the use of portable traffic lights on public roads, particularly for the use on road work sites. These usage requirements are outside the scope of this video, which serves as a setup guide only. Please contact the Road Traffic Authority in your state or territory for more information. Go to the PTL decoupling video on the Data Science YouTube channel for instructions on uncoupling the slave unit from the master unit. Now we're setting up the PTL trailer, which is on page 3 of the Operations and Maintenance Manual. These PTLs are fitted with Yagi antennas. During normal operation, point the Yagis towards each other. Minimum operating distance is 20 metres. They won't communicate if sets are too close to one another. Rotate the trailer to ensure the PTL's aspects will face the oncoming traffic, with the tow bar facing away from traffic. When positioning the PTL, ensure solar panels will not be in the shade. Extend the back legs and lower all four legs, winding down to sit firmly on the ground. Ensure the trailer is sitting level. Pull the wheel chains through the wheel and paddle off to secure. The control box contains the PTL controller and the hoist up down switch. Check upwards to ensure there are no obstructions, like power lines or trees, for when the PTL is raised. Push the hoist up down switch up to engage the electric attenuator to raise the PTL. Turn the master on with the first key switch set to program mode. You will need to set the red and green times and the mode of operation. For this example, we will set auto-timed mode where the portable traffic lights operate in cyclic order according to the set times. The all red interval is the period of time that the aspects on both the master and slave units remain on the red phase simultaneously. This allows for the clearance of traffic within the traffic controlled area. To set the all red time, start by determining the distance between the master and slave. Refer to the chart inside the control box lid, taken from Australian Standards AS4191, 
This uses metres as the unit of measurement. Based on the current speed limit set on the roadway, find the recommended all red time to set. For example, at 200 metres apart, with a 40 km hour speed limit, set the all red time to about 15 seconds. Press the all red button to set this. For this scenario, press enter to select all units. The preset maximum green time is used as the green signal phase time in auto timed mode. Press the green button twice to set this. Please return the operations manual back to the pouch after use. This document also contains maintenance instructions which will need to be completed periodically, including cleaning solar panels and having the wheel bearings checked and greased. Turn the first key switch on the master controller to shuttle. The LCD panel on the master controller displays a few different things. You can see the current battery voltage for the master and slave units and the mode of operation. Also note the time is showing the time until the current phase expires. For example, now it is showing how long to the end of the all red phase. Also note the TX and RX lights flashing. This indicates radio or RF communications between the master and slave units via the antennas. Now that we've finished the setup, close the lid and lock the control box. The PTLs are now operating normally. When the red aspect is on, the beacon will flash.